shit. Oh. It's driving me nuts now. Come on. Oh, for God's sake. I can't. That's really annoyed me now. I couldn't get my special on him, but I might get a pin him instead. Oh, Jesus. Get lost, Tacker, for God's sake. Everywhere. Right, I've got the um got the chair now, so I'm just gonna whack him with the chair. There we go. Keep whacking him. Right, here we go. It's time to teach Tacker some manners. We'll put the transmission on him. Right, one more should do it, I think. There we go. He's got to submit now. Come on. Yes! Love it. So, that's four people I've got rid of now. Four competitors. And we got some cash, chapter five. Okay, good. Right, Stormy Life Part 2. So I'm just defending the title then, this will be easy. Taz is hiding from an enemy in the boiler room after a match, thinking about what he'll do next. So let me guess. APA? Oh, it's Boss Man. Taz is attacked from behind. He's about to lose consciousness. A hardcore match has begun. Okay, so I've got to take out Ray Trailer. Alright, fine. I will beat the Boss Man. get my energy up a little bit first so I'm just going to do some taunts okay okay is that fire extinguisher we'll take that okay well that didn't do any bloody good oh the problem is with the boiler room as well it's very narrow so I can't really get away with doing the type of moves I'd want to do straight away. I have to plan everything. Well, there you go, that worked. Finally got to use a piece of the scenery to hit boss, man. Okay, we'll take whatever that is. Broken table. Nice. Come on then, boss man. Okay. Suplex. Okay, we'll take that thing. Okay, another one. What am I doing? I didn't, didn't want to pause it. Come on, pick it up, pick it up, Taz. Move. Oh, yes. I'll just keep doing the same thing, rinse and repeat, basically. Yeah, beat the snot out of boss, man. Or beat the tar out of him. Whichever. Okay. Right, now we're going to put a stop to him now. There we go. And I'll put another one on him. Um, if I can, just do one more, please. Now, if I can get him to submit right now the task mission, this will look so cool on video. Nope. Oh, well, I might be able to pin him now. There you go. Taking care of the boss man in less time is taken to make a cup of tea. Or maybe about the same time it takes me to make a cup of tea, I don't know. Earn some cash, we're moving on to chapter 6.
We're speeding through this, guys. We are speeding. Stormy Life Part 3. Oh, here we go again. Taz defended the Titan and quickly left the ringside. Taz then ran into the parking lot and hid. He is now thinking about what to do next. APA again. So is this just the same thing? Suddenly Bradshaw and Fruk enter the parking lot. What the hell do you want? I'll beat both of you up. Easy, easy. We came here to make sure that you are safe. What, you guys want to help me? Of course, being that we two are the two baddest men around, we understand that you're going th what you are going through. We came here to protect you, but everything has a price. You give us a thousand pound and we'll take care of your problem. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Mainly because it's a storyline arc. It's another one, even though it's the same one. Same type of one in the first one. You've got to deal with our men of our words. So basically, um, they're going to take care of um, any problems for me. Free from anxiety. So this is the same thing, essentially. I don't get it. A day later, Taz was going to the arena and was walking through the halls. Taz did not know that Crash was waiting for him. Yeah, it's the same thing. Wait, wait, your belt is on line 247. I'm going to kick the tar out of you. Hey, hold on a second. Bradshaw. Oh, it's Bradshaw this time. You should face me first. Taz, this is my job. Go to your locker room. Nice. So I've avoided... Uh, Avoided the APA's protection while Bradshaw is taking care of Crash. Taz enters the locker room and finds Vince waiting. Good work. You really seem to be getting over with the fans. I think it might be time to see if you can hold your own in the ring at our next pay per view. But you must do well on your next match. Okay. Who is it? Oh, it's Viscera. Okay, so I have to win this match. Easy, easy. This will be no problem at all. Let's do it. Let's get out of here and beat this run out. Okay. Big beat big this. Come on, pick him up, Taz. You know you can do it. Oh, bloody hell. There you go, lovely. This is amazing. Viscera is so weak on this game. Okay, strong grapple. Come on. Come on, Taz. Come on, Taz. That's it. Okay, great. Now I can punish him. Ooh. This is awesome. This is awesome. God. Check it out, man. I'm really giving it to Viscera. One more should do it. There you go. Three Taz. Um, Taz Suplexes or whatever he calls them. There you go. I've totally forgotten what he calls them. I do apologise. Either way. Probably just normal suplexes. I'm sure we had a name from though. I probably remembered it in my last couple of videos, but right, I think this might be the last chapter now, and then we're done, and we can move on. Chapter eight, match for honor. It's essentially the same thing. I mean, did they just give up or what? Did, were they just like let's repeat the storyline? I don't get it. Oh well, I've got to fight Cactus Jack anyway at WrestleMania. It's still pretty cool though, I mean, I shouldn't really complain. I heard the hardcore champion is unstoppable. I came here to beat him up. I'm excited about fighting you. It would be a great honour to beat you down. Okay. I think he's actually uh, saying something different. Here we go. Okay, I've got three chances to do this. As I said, this will be this will be easy. If it's anything like last time, then it won't be a problem. Come on, then. You want to beat me up? I'm right here. Okay. Yeah, 
You wanted a match. A cactus, you got it. But you ain't gonna win. Tank of wood. Come on. Come on. Reverse. Gonna do the same thing. Put loads of suplexes on him, destroy him. Take his energy down. And again. I don't think Cactus has actually got any offensive moves in on me yet. Essentially, it's like a flawless victory at the moment for me. Nice. Come on. Come on, Taz. Come on. Get your energy up, son. Alright, he's got like one kick on me. Two kicks. Okay, another suplex for you, Foley. Oh god. I asked for that. Oh, crap. come on. Pole driver. Let me get my energy right up. Right, here we go. Hasplex, that's it. I don't know why I couldn't remember. I was like, what's the name? And it was so simple. Hasplex. I don't know. Bit of a foggy brain tonight. Okay. One more should do it. Alright, let's pin it. And there we go. There you go. So, just over half an hour. I think that's everything. That's like the second storyline arc done brilliant unless there's another secret chapter I don't know would be cool if there was but no I think that's everything here's the new hardcore champion Taz please welcome the champion congratulations Taz thank you for playing but that was just the beginning good luck hope we get the different text again because the text changes from the other championships for whatever reason Congratulations, you have become the hardcore champion, but there will be more obstacles for you to remain a true champion. You will be the people's champion only when you complete all the paths to the end. Enjoy playing the other courses and good luck. Brilliant. Fantastic. A bit, little bit more cash as well. Less than money I had to pay to the APA, but hey, you got to pay the piper sometimes. So there you go, guys. That's another um, set of uh, WWF No Mercy Hardcore title videos done. So I can't believe it. Um, that's kind of two sets I've got done now. So I think in the next uh, set of videos, I'm going to be losing. So I'll go back to the first one and I'll lose those matches where I can. And um, unlock some new pathways. So... That would be good to see where they kind of all go, really. And also, it's going to be really fun as well when I get back to the APA because um, I want to refuse to pay them and refuse their protection and see what happens. I've got a feeling that they'll challenge me for the belt and it'll be kind of like be a handicap match, so that'll certainly be interesting, I think. So that means that I've got to play as somebody else to dethrone Taz. So I have to have a think about who I want to be next time. And then defend, go into the defense and then lose sort of those key matches and unlock the different pathway, pathways from the other side. So there's quite a lot going on so far. So yeah, as I said, I'm filming this on the same night I filmed, um, I filmed the last of the women's title 
uh, Storyline Arcs, I filmed the first Taz videos and so it's, but essentially this is just the same night um, I'm doing this so I thought I'd get a few extra videos done just in case at the weekend I'm like oh I don't feel like uploading or making videos at least I'll already have some uploaded on my channel so I always like to be prepared just in case as I said I will try and film some more Perfect Dog tomorrow uh, get that done um, I'm still on secret sorry special agent mode I, I'm still in golden eye frame of mind because it was made by the same people so I keep calling special agent secret agent and it even got to the point where I was actually um, r naming the actual uh, videos as secret agent but anyway that's another game for another time so fantastic all that's left to say now is thank you very much this has been Lucas McIntosh thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my retro let's play videos I really appreciate it if you are indeed enjoying my content and like to see more why not hit that subscribe button because what it means to you lovely people is you'll be instantly subscribed to my channel and notified every time I upload a new video and I've got new content coming each and every single week thank you so much for deciding to spend your time with me I really appreciate it and keep those lovely views and comments and thumbs up coming um, because I really really appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to comment and let me know what you think of my videos so as, a, as I mentioned next time I will have some more No Mercy up as well so now that I'm kind of back in the groove again I can kind of get a succession of, of videos done so I'll, you might probably see a lot more of this on my video on my channel I should say then Perfect Dark. Perfect Dark is taking a little bit longer than necessary because it's getting harder so you know there will be more of this on in the meantime. I also want to say that you can check me out on Twitter if you want to. I'm at Dodge This Game. I'm also on Tumblr at Dodge This Game and I'm on Facebook as well. You can find the link in the video description or on my channel banner artwork as well. So several ways you can get in touch. Uh, tell me about your favourite retro games, um, what you're passionate about, you know. I always uh, reply to every message I get or I try to anyway as soon as I can so you know if you have sent me a message and I've not got back to you yet then rest assured I, I will when I sort of get a free minute I said it's just been really really busy last week and I've got a pretty busy week this week as well and it's only Monday so I'm looking forward to Friday basically Friday evening once, once I've got all my commitments out of the way then I can just relax dig out some box sets maybe catch up on some Peaky Blinders who knows but yeah No Mercy fantastic game um, each time I play it it never ceases to amaze you there's always something new uh, to discover um, and even though it repeated the storyline in the hardcore thing I didn't particularly mind I just thought oh that's alright you know um, this game's jam-packed with loads of stuff anyway, so I guess they've got a kind of, um, you know, maybe they just run out of stuff to do, so they thought, well, let's just repeat this one storyline here, so. But the fact that they added Bradshaw instead of Farouk was pretty good, because last time it was Farouk who um, sort of stood in front of Taz, so, yeah, that was a pretty clever I think by Aki, so even though it was the same, it did feel slightly different, if that makes sense. Oh, for God's sake. It's me old bloody Samsung. Turn it off. There we are, power off. Right, okay. Let's get this thank you from Mick. Thank you very much. Right, now let's go and let's see how much we've unlocked in the hardcore division. Percentage wise, then I will end the video. Let's do this very quickly. Come on. Championship. Championship. 28% not bad okay guys thank you so much and I will see you next time for some more WWF No Mercy take care of yourselves wrap up warm I'll see you next time